I wanted to begin this video with an anecdote suggesting how I bought this CNC machine in an empty car park from the back of some bloke's van that happened to be stuffed with the cryogenically preserved brains of deceased carpenters on their way to be harvested of knowledge for an already bloated catalogue of online woodworking plans. In reality, Inventables just gave me it, like some Docker's Delight gives an entire crew VD. YouTube seems to be swamped with this machine, and I'm discovering channels I never knew existed simply because of the interlinking nature of metadata and video. It takes both parties to complicitly share STIs, scientific technological innovations. I willingly engage in an activity knowing the risks and after several months this bundle of joy was dropped off by a benevolent stork and it is now up to me to rear it. The CNC machine at first must seem like a small child in constant need of supervision in case you turn your back for a moment and it either destroys itself or everything around it. But if it were a child, it would be a Victorian one, whose purpose was to quickly ascend into adult working life for the benefit of a cruel master and an oppressive system. The machine's main advantages are simply its ability to repeat cutting processes with a high level of accuracy. New technology always faces scepticism, which is one reason I believe this machine has been bandied about in much the same way in popular American abstract expressionism was during the Cold War. Grassroot activities often foster technological and social developments, art and technology are signs of a passive progression. But I also feel the concerns of Luddites are in part justified, because it is unheard of that the economic benefits of new technology are ever shared amongst the people rendered obsolete. An example of which was recently brought into light by researchers from UCL in an investigation into British slave ownership. The compensation of British slave owners was the largest bailout in British history until that of the banks in 2009. Slaves who received nothing were also compelled to provide 45 hours of unpaid labour each week for their former masters for a further four years after their supposed liberation, effectively paying part of the bill. Seventy plus years after the birth of the Industrial Revolution, machines proved so effective they replaced slavery with a technology that required small children to maintenance and operate machines. Mm -hmm. 